County High School, Galveston County, Texas. In 1989. Graduation Ceremony Let us welcome the graduate representative, the prototype of the magical Amy book, Amy Dunn. Happiness Amidst the warm applause of everyone, a beautiful girl with a unique temperament stepped onto the stage, came to the microphone, looked around the alumni who were staggered in the front step seats, and stared at a handsome boy for a while, and then started speak up skillfully. Under the stage The handsome boy with blonde hair disappeared in an instant with his tight face of love, dissatisfaction, sorrow, and pain. He touched his stiff handsome face and smiled bitterly in his heart. That's right. He is a dramatist. But he was also forced to be helpless. Whoever knew that the girl with a unique temperament on the stage was his girlfriend, oh no, it was the ex-girlfriend who was about to be separated and voluntarily dumped him. Knowing what she could do in the future, he would be right. She replied with a humble expression of vain and suspense. As for why you know the future? Ha ha. Hey, are you okay? At this time, someone next to him gently pushed him, it was a girl. It's okay. The boy entered the scene instantly, and he lowered his head unbearably, without even looking at the other person. Hey, isn't it? The girl next to me was ignorant, and came over and was surprised, isn't she just a girlfriend, even if she is Amy, but you are Adam Duncan. You have had fewer girlfriends, as for this one. Innocent and true love expression. Junio, don't get so close. Adam hid to the side, avoiding the girl's approach, glanced nervously at Amy who was speaking on the stage, and he was relieved to see that the other party did not pay attention to this side. Are you afraid of her? Juno seemed to understand something, and said with a weird smile, So you are afraid of her? What are you saying? Adam's heart tightened, but he changed a puzzled expression calmly, and looked at the girl next to him. This is a delicate girl with exquisite features, which is in line with the aesthetics of his past and present life, but the more freckles than the eastern girl make this beauty greatly compromised not to mention that the other party is wearing a red hood. Shirt, this red is so dazzling, with the girl's playful eyes to see through everything, so that he dare not look directly. Oh, it's too difficult for me. Adam couldn't help sighing in his heart, this is another ruthless character. You are afraid of her. Juno surely smiled. I am not, don't talk nonsense, I don't. Adam's three consecutive denials subconsciously. Deny. Juno's mouth curled up, and he leaned over again. Stop it. Adam was shocked, quickly glanced at the stage, touched his neck, and smiled bitterly, what the do you want to do? Nothing Juno obviously understands that missiles are the most powerful on the launcher. He sat upright and said casually, hey, how do you see you always peeking at a little boy these days? Hum. As soon as Adam heard this, his head roared and his body chilled. In order to cope with the acting skills trained by the magic Amy on stage, he would start to act. Then he thought that the terrifying person next to him was even more terrifying than the future Amy. Acting away, decided to tell the truth. Did you say Sheldon? He is a genius, he is about to jump to high school, I want to be friends with him, increase my wisdom and get into a good university in the future. Hey, what you said turned out to be true. Juno turned his head and stared straight at Adam for a long time. Adam mustered up the courage to look at her this time, because he really was telling the truth. Of course it is true. You also know that this is a public high school with limited teachers. If you want to enter a good university, it is better to find a talented student for counseling. Adam said cautiously, no problem, right? No problem at all. Juno smiled, I just didn't expect the famous rock man Adam Duncan to want to study hard. Without waiting for Adam to breathe a sigh of relief, Juno's voice changed, but you don't need to find him, I can help you with your homework. Boom. Adam was struck by lightning, he was blinded, and he stammered, you, are you helping me? Why, do you think I have that ability? 
Juno seemed to be smiling but not smiling. No. Adam shook his head. Although the other party was as terrible as his ex-girlfriend, her grades were still very good. A rare top student in a public high school, after all, her IQ was left there. So you have an opinion on me. Juno has a playful tone. No no. Adam shook his head quickly. It's not, it's not. Juno narrowed his eyes, could it be that you have really changed sex, and you like this Sheldon kid better? Adam froze, keenly aware of the danger in Juno's words, and shouted in his heart, Dog system, I hate you. If you don't have any use for fart, I'm so scared. The incompetent and furious Adam smiled and said, Don't be kidding, I'm just afraid to trouble you, after all, my reputation. I'm not afraid. Juno interrupted, Anyway, I am also a freak in the eyes of others. Four of the five psychologists said that I have a problem. I am fine. Don't care too much about the eyes of others. It's too tiring to live like that. Saying this, Juno paused, looking at Adam, and said meaningfully, You used to be good, even if you turn your sex, don't turn in the wrong direction. But I'm afraid. Adam's mouth twitched, Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganchu. Kam didn't dare to say what was in his heart, and smiled bitterly, Don't worry, I know what I can and can't do, I really just want to make a friend of Sheldon. As long as you are happy. Juno smiled, the last question. You said. Adam breathed a sigh of relief. Juno stared at Adam, and said every word, You are also afraid of me, why? Adam was speechless, and he murmured after a long while, I have a good reputation, you often wear a little red riding hood. I just want to study hard every day, I really don't want to cause any trouble. Little red riding hood Juno chuckled and turned his head to stop looking at Adam. Adam sat there stupidly, his eyes followed Amy who was speaking on the stage, making all kinds of drama expressions at any time, trying to survive the last period of time but in his mind he was looking at a nameless system with only one panel and no spirituality. Wisdom, 108 strength, 180 endurance, 300 speed, 140 lifespan, 35.06 other, locking ding. Wisdom plus one ding. Speed plus 20. County high school. Graduation ceremony. It's gone up. It turns out that both wisdom and speed have gone up. Adam's face showed a bit of joy, he has been passing through for more than a year, even if the nameless system is rubbish, he has gradually figured out the usefulness of the system. Wisdom seems to be directly linked to IQ. There has been no response this year. Adam speculates based on the growth law of several other attributes that this should be related to the IQ of his friend. Those who are close to Zhu are red and those who are close to Mo are black. After staying with smart people for a long time, they will always become smarter. So when he learned that a nine-year-old boy named Sheldon Lee Cooper had skipped the fifth grade in the middle school department and would directly enter the ninth grade of high school next semester, Adam decided to make this friend. This is a super genius with an IQ of 187. Before he could make a friend of Sheldon, Juno from his classmates suddenly gave him a surprise. Is really surprised and happy. What was shocked was that she noticed him unexpectedly, which made him shudder. What is happy is that wisdom has finally increased for the first time. It seems that his speculation should be correct. Contact with geniuses with high IQ can really increase wisdom. But this increase is too dangerous. Although strength, endurance, and speed are all very useful attributes, they do not help his lifespan very much. Only the improvement of wisdom can truly help him get rid of the tragedy of his premature death. Because according to his groping over the past year, the improvement of lifespan seems to depend on merit, and it must also be the direct merit of his own hands, such as helping the grandma to cross the road, helping the grandfather to beat the waste, but these things are growing too slowly, Adam it took more than half a year to accumulate 0.05 years. It is better to make ends meet than nothing. Fortunately, once he rescued a bear kid crossing the road, 
he saw hope, because that time directly increased by 0.01. After, he wanted to understand that saving a life is better than building a seven-level float. If you want to increase your lifespan, you still have to learn medicine and you must be a top surgeon. Only in this way can you save people stably and safely. But then he ran into trouble. As an ordinary person, he inherited a stubborn and cute body that was worse than him. If you want to learn medicine and become a top surgeon, this chance is really too low. The doctors and lawyers in the US are also called the professional representatives of the middle class, which means that as long as you become a doctor or a lawyer, you will enter the middle class properly, and you will be the best in the middle class with a little effort. Therefore, the competition is very fierce. First, you have to complete college and get a bachelor's degree, and then you have the opportunity to compete with classmates, seniors, even teachers, construction workers, or other unrelated people who want to change careers in their 30s and 40s for the chance to enter medical school. After four years of medical school, not everyone can graduate, and the elimination rate is very high. After that, there will be residents of three to seven years. During the internship, working 100 hours a week is a routine operation. There is still a long way to go from the top. During the period of I need to memorize a huge amount of medical knowledge. Without a good brain and firm will, I don't have enough effort, I want to eat it. Fortunately, he has a system. Even if it is a dog system, it also gives him an opportunity to improve his wisdom and reduce the difficulty of learning. Otherwise, even if he has a stamina of up to 300, he can redouble his efforts, but the chance is slim. It's true that diligence can make up for the clumsy, but he really doesn't have much time. These thoughts flashed in his mind. Adam looked at the attribute panel again. The strength attribute seems to be related to positive emotions such as family and friendship. Speed should be related to negative emotions such as fear. As for endurance, well, he hasn't done it yet. Clear. Happiness. Another enthusiastic applause awakened Adam, and his face instantly entered the scene. Amy, who slowly stepped off the stage, really glanced at him, saw his expression, smiled slightly, and then looked away. After the ceremony, the graduates all wore bachelor uniforms to take pictures outside. Adam, the actor, was very dedicated and walked in again, and took a few photos with his beloved Amy. After Amy reminded him again and again, only one step was made. Turning back left. Amy is too much, not only did the old cow eat the tender grass, but also turned his face to deny people. Adam is so pitiful. The girls who saw this scene condemned them, without it, because Adam had a plain face. Even if Adam has traveled for more than a year, he still often marvels every time he looks in the mirror. So for his predecessor, Feng Yun Senpai, who was a few years older, could get into the romantic style, Adam expressed his understanding, this is very reasonable. Hearing the faint condemnation, Amy smiled sweeter and completely put Adam down. When she was about to leave here and start a new life, there was nothing for her to miss, everything she took the initiative to let go, perfect. Pushed the car and left the school one step at a time. After keeping the school completely invisible, Adam rode on the car, stared at his feet, accelerated and then accelerated and ran away. There are very few vehicles on the roads in the suburbs, and there is no one at this time. The trees on both sides of the driveway are so tall that they shade the sun and are shady, which is like a rural scene in the U.S. What? After riding for a long time, looking back, there was no one on the straight avenue. Adam finally couldn't help but yelled, venting his boredom over the past year. An ordinary person in his own neighborhood, after crossing over, was forced to become a dramatist abruptly. Don't mention the sorrow and depression in it. If you talk about it, it will be tears. But it's not okay if he doesn't. The ex-girlfriend's magical Amy is really magical. She is good at controlling everything and arranging everything about Adam clearly. After the initial stimulation, Adam quickly became tired of it. But when he recognizes this Amy again, 
it is the classic thriller romance he has seen in his previous life, The Disappearing Lover, and after the girlhood of the heroine in it, he has taken care of it. It's impossible to break up. It's impossible to take the initiative to break up in this life. The only thing he can do is to give up and let Amy take the initiative to let go. Fortunately, the girlhood of Amy is just adolescent adolescence to Adam, and there is no taste of love. When he graduated, he took the initiative to break up with Mercy but decided. Adam's mood at the time was complicated as complicated as it was. Not only did he forcefully suppress his ecstasy, but he also showed many emotions such as admiration for pain. Once she shows a little bit of happiness, Amy will definitely notice that after losing the control she thinks, she will definitely take unscrupulous revenge against Adam. The reputation is ruined at light, go to jail, and at the worst, the throat will be sealed with a knife, and you will die miserably. You will never think of how she will retaliate against you, just ask if you are afraid. Fortunately, everything is over. Free. Free at last. Duncan's house. Hi, Charlie, look at you, only nine months old, how cute. A 14 five-year-old blonde girl was holding a DV machine and patted a baby girl. The baby girl was stunned but clapped her hands for the face. After all, this is a sister who often brings her own, and can't afford it. Look at how cute I am again. The blonde girl is the age who loves beauty the most. Even if her sister clapped her hands and responded to the cute mess, she moved the camera away for the first time, aimed at herself, and took a beautiful selfie. I'm your sister Teddy, I'm making a video diary, to help you build a foothold in our, um, special home. This is mom and dad. Saying here, Teddy pointed the camera at a middle-aged couple. The man was tall and burly but unsurprisingly bald, and the woman's maternal love with blonde hair and face, the two obviously dressed up. Teddy, are you sure you can do it? Mother Amy Duncan was a little worried, otherwise, let's not go, Bob. Teddy. Dad Bob looked at his eldest daughter questioningly. I can do it. Teddy insisted, you can't remember how long you haven't gone out on a date alone. Have fun tonight. It doesn't matter how late you come back. And there is still a PJ. Ha, he just talked about him. Coming. Adam opened the door and walked in. Teddy walked up to greet him quickly, and pointed the DV camera lens at Adam, Charlie, this is your big brother PJ. Call me Adam. Adam interrupted and smiled at the camera, Charlie, I am your eldest brother Adam. Using a video diary to record the growth of my sister and the warm daily life of the family is a very loving action. Adam naturally has to support his sister Teddy. Anyway, he is not afraid of being on the mirror. After all, he is always so mediocre. Well, it seems that Big Brother really doesn't like the name Grandpa gave Teddy shrugged and smiled, but it is, if Grandpa had named me a combination of two toilet words, I would definitely go crazy. It would not be easy for Adam to persist for so many years. Long live understanding. Adam raised his hands. Hey, it seems someone is in a good mood. My mother was keenly aware of Adam's emotions, and said vigilantly, Are you and the Dunn girl reconciled again? I can tell you, we don't like her, don't we, Bob? Ha <laughs> ha. Bob chuckled, but did not agree, and gave Adam a self-seeking wink. Teddy. Amy gave Bob a stern look, then looked at Teddy. Charlie, ask your brother, what is the good thing? Teddy didn't answer this, but changed the subject to tease the little girl. She does hate Amy Dunn, but she can't agree, because she's also about to fall in love. If my mother doesn't like it and pulls the whole family to denounce the destruction, it's still a shame. This bad hole must never be opened. You little ones. Mom scolded bitterly. Hey, Mom, I'm not good enough, I asked you to go out on a date to relax, but I took the initiative. Teddy laughed. It turned out to be like this. Adam answered, then you go, Charlie has me and Teddy, don't worry, Mom, 
don't think too much, I and Amy are completely over, she is now on her way to New York. I am happy because I suddenly wanted to drive. Great. Mom happily jumped up and clapped her hands and applauded, PJ, oh, no, Adam, it's fine if you want to open it. Mom will not be wrong. That Amy Dunn is not for you at all. How can you treat a man as a doll? It's the same thing. You are so innocent, I'm really afraid that you will be ruined by her. Fortunately, if she is gone, let her harm others, as long as it is not you. Thank God. Adam's acting skills are very skillful and very dedicated, even his family has cheated, making his mother often anxious to get angry. Teddy rolled his eyes, and said inwardly, he is innocent? Ha <laughs> ha. Adam understood Teddy's meaning and smiled reservedly. Although he had talked with many girlfriends and was forced to become a dramatist, he was really a good boy. My dear, it's almost time. Dad Bob stretched out his watch in front of his mother Amy's eyes. They ordered a big meal tonight. Go ahead and have fun. Teddy hugged Charlie, followed Bob and Amy to the door, looked down at the little girl, and added a reminder, but don't overplay, there are already enough kids at home. Ha <laughs> ha. Amy and Bob were both happy. Amy teased her little daughter Charlie and pushed the door out. Bob was about to leave but was stopped by Teddy's hand. I'm serious. Teddy said solemnly. Bob's mouth twitched, and he couldn't laugh anymore. Of course he understood what Teddy meant. Bob. Amy's urging came from outside the door. I'm coming. Bob smiled awkwardly and walked out quickly. Okay, let's distribute the tasks evenly now, shall we? Teddy hugged Charlie and arranged, we will take care of Charlie for an hour. Who wants to be the first to come, Adam? Gabby. Think of me just now. On the sofa in the living room, a teenage boy sat there with his arms folded, vomiting, I thought you all couldn't see me. How come, I just plan to use you as the finale? You also know that the most important characters are the last ones. Yu Yu reading www.yuyugonshu.com Teddy was a little embarrassed. She really forgot about this younger brother just now, but she would not admit it, and quickly handed Charlie to Adam to hold him, and took the DV machine to Gabby, Charlie, this is your second. Brother Gabby. Gabby, what do you want to say to Charlie? Ha <laughs> ha. Gabby sneered at the camera, you ruined my life. Well, it seems that Gabby needs more time to adjust to you. Teddy explained to the camera, because you are a bit like a surprise. I thought surprise was a good thing. Gabby made a sharp complaint. Okay, Teddy, just the two of us with Charlie. Adam held Charlie and smiled, one person rotates for an hour, do you really dare to let Gabby take it? You can try Gabby smirked. What you said makes sense. Teddy thought of Gabby's usual bears, and suddenly dismissed the idea of letting Gabby bring Charlie. She didn't want to see the family tragedy. Since Gabby is not counted, can we one person two hours, you come first, you know, I'll make an appointment to study together, one hour is not enough. Ask someone to study. Adam knew it, and joked, that's right. I just made up to 8th grade recently, let's let Charlie sit and play, Charlie is very good, it won't affect us, right, Charlie? What? Charlie was held by Adam and shook, clapping her hands and laughing. Teddy was dumbfounded. My parents were persuaded by her to go out on a date. She had prepared lipstick and mouth freshener. Is it to study with her brother and bring her little girl? Duncan's house. Adam. Teddy was blindfolded for a long time, then caught a glimpse of Adam's playful eyes, suddenly understood, and snorted with dissatisfaction. All right all right. Adam raised his hand in moderation, Teddy, do as you say. I will take Charlie for two hours first, and then change you. After all, this is the United States. Although Adam is the eldest brother, but the upper beam is not straight and the lower beam is crooked, the boss is not the second child. Naturally, 
it is not easy to take care of Teddy's budding love. The living room belongs to you. The basement belongs to me. Teddy's eyes rolled, and everybody knew that the basement was the best place for dating. Don't think about it. Adam categorically refused, you can only study in the living room, um, study, otherwise everyone will study together, you choose. The living room is the living room. Teddy pouted. She is not rebellious by nature. She has always been a good girl. She knows that this kind of thing is impossible to bargain, and she is simple and doesn't have so many unspeakable thoughts. Ding dong. Doorbell rang. I'll drive, I'll drive. Teddy jumped up and ran over while shouting, and came to the door. Instead of opening the door for the first time, he took out a small mirror from his jeans and adjusted his haircut and adjusted his expression. Then he opened the door, leaning against the door. The man sent the sweetest smile, Hi, Spencer hi, Teddy the guy here is a tall handsome guy, pretending to be carrying a school bag, but with Adam's eyesight, he knows that there are no books in it at all. Ha, sample. This is my brother Adam, and this is my friend Spencer. After Teddy gave a brief introduction to the two of them, without waiting for Adam to speak, he turned his face, Adam, don't you want to take Charlie to play? Go, let's learn. No hurries. Adam ignored Teddy and said to Spencer, who had a reserved smile on his face, have you brought a book? Do you want me to lend you one? Spencer's smile froze. How to answer this? Did he read a book and study? You don't need to borrow it. Where did Teddy see his boyfriend embarrassing, he turned his elbow out and gave Adam an elbow, urging, we have a book. Adam, you take Charlie. Said, giving Adam a threatening look. You know what you know. Charlie and I are in the basement. Call us if you have anything. Adam looked at Spencer remained silent, as if he was a copy of himself, and said meaningfully, we can all hear. Ha ha. Spencer's mouth twitched, and he gave a dry smile, the temperature hidden in his eyes instantly dropped a few degrees, and the whole person became uncomfortable. Adam took Charlie to the basement. This is the classic structure of a rice-style country house. Almost every family has a basement, which can be used for sundries, activity rooms, and people. According to my mother Amy, those who gave birth to three were all cowards, and the one who continued to give birth was the warrior. The Duncan family was undoubtedly a warrior family, but it also brought about a problem, that is, the problem of room allocation. The first floor is a large living room and kitchen, and there are three houses on the second floor. Bob Amy and his wife live in the master bedroom. The next one belongs to Charlie, and there is a baby crying monitor in it. This is a country in the United States. It is very particular about personal freedom. There is a habit of couples sleeping with their children for many years without a child in the East. There are a pair of baby crying monitors in the baby room of the master bedroom. Although it is a little troublesome, it can avoid a lot of embarrassment. Problem For example, Adam was planning to make a friend Sheldon Cooper. He had a complete memory when he was one or two years old and he also had high-definition image memory, which made him afraid to hear some of his parents' mantras, because that will make him recall memories that he shouldn't remember. The remaining room on the second floor originally lived with Adam and Gabby, but after Adam crossed over, he didn't want to live with the bear kid Gabby, so he moved to the basement. The basement is very large. In addition to putting Adam's bed, it can also be used as an activity room. There are various musical instruments used by Adam to play rock and roll, game consoles and TV sets. Teddy and Gabby also wanted to live here, but they were both suppressed by Adam. He is not as cute as his predecessor. He is obviously the boss and is always teased by his younger brothers and sisters. Teddy didn't grab the basement and didn't want to be too close to his parents, so he could only move to the attic room on the third floor. Charlie you have to be good, brother is going to read a book. Adam put the little the sofa, gave her a toy to play with, and then sat down and looked at the textbook seriously. 
It is said that American students have a light burden and advocate happy education, but they are all abandoned lower class people. The learning enthusiasm of truly elite children is even more exaggerated than that of Eastern countries. The number four is the nightmare of these elite high school students. If you want to achieve the highest GPA of 4.0, you will have to drink four cups of coffee almost every day and sleep only four hours a day. This level of hard work definitely exceeds that of Dongguo. High School Students Adam wants to avoid his untimely death and aspires to become a top surgeon. The first step is to get into a good university. And to take this first step well, whether for the predecessor or the present, it is quite difficult. The knowledge structure of the predecessor PJ can be summed up in one sentence, which is what my sister Teddy often said when she was funny with the nine-month-old Charlie, you have a great hope to go to high school with your elder brother Adam himself, although he has gone to college, everyone in eastern countries knows that the peak of personal knowledge is when the college entrance examination is taken. Then is the real knowledge of astronomy and geography and he is not afraid to travel all over the world with mathematics, physics, and chemistry. Only one sentence of fucking is all over the world. Therefore, Adam is now a real scumbag, and all the courses must be reviewed from the beginning. The courses in the United States are different from those in the East, which makes it more difficult for Adam to learn. After a full year, I barely kept up with the progress, and I was about to enter high school. The four-year GPA had a significant impact when he applied for college. Adam must fight for GPA 4.0. UU reading www.uuganshu.com in a public high school with weak teachers, it is definitely helpful to find a talented classmate to study with. This is also one of the important reasons why Adam wanted to make Sheldon as a friend. Abandon these distracting thoughts, Adam who really learned and said, learning makes me happy. The living room on the first floor. Teddy and Spencer were sitting on the sofa, next to each other, with a book spread out in front of them. The eyes of both of them flickered a little, and neither of them was thinking about what was written in the book. Occasionally, their eyes met and there seemed to be sparks. Over. I'll get a pencil. I have one. Stalemate for a long time, Teddy took the initiative to speak a whisper. Spencer responded immediately, and the two pretended to turn around and turned their heads in their respective school bags. Teddy took the lipstick and drew in the small mirror, Spencer took out the tooth freshener and sprayed it into his mouth. I think I forgot my pencil at school. Me too. When Spencer said this, he blew a breath at Teddy, and Teddy took a deep breath, the smile on his face sweetened. Ding dong. Just as the two got closer, the doorbell rang suddenly, which shocked the two of them. I'm going to drive. Teddy smiled apologetically, then got up and ran over angrily, opening the door and asking, Who? Is Adam Duncan here? Outside the door, a girl of the same age smiled and said, My name is Juno Magoff, his classmate. Hello there. Teddy looked at the girl in a red hoodie, thought of her brother's romanticism, a trace of pity flashed in her eyes, and said to herself, poor little Red Riding Hood, actually came to look for the big bad wolf. Duncan's house. How did you come? Adam looked at Juno who was brought in by Teddy with a shocked expression on his face. I didn't say it before, I will help you with your homework. Juno smiled and began to look around, hey, it's pretty clean and tidy. Is this your sister? Okay. Adam nodded subconsciously, and his brain started to revolve rapidly. What's the situation? Just sent away a ruthless character, and before he was happy for an hour, he chased a more ruthless character. The former can be reasonably explained by his plain appearance, while the latter seems to dislike men. Is it really because he wanted to make friends with the nine-year-old Sheldon Cooper and was caught by her? It's not right. Although Sheldon is a child, he is also a 15-year-old teenager. Even if he has some unspeakable thoughts, it is at best to blame his brother, not to blame, completely. Doesn't fit her hunting range. Or is it really what she said, because of the friendship between the classmates, he was kind enough to help? 
What are you thinking? Juno looked at Adam with changing eyes with interest, playing with the taste, are you thinking, why Juno suddenly took the initiative to help me? Did you fall in love with me, or have any ulterior motives? It was a bit unexpected. Adam opened his eyes wide, and looked at each other with Juno. It seemed that all his thoughts were reflected in the other's smart eyes, his scalp was numb, and he nodded with a dry smile. Juno and ex-girlfriend Amy are both ruthless characters, but they are still very different. Amy is a hard-working accumulation type, otherwise Adam would not be able to grow into a dramatist in front of her. But Juno in front of you is a talented type with high IQ. She can see through your mind at a glance, leaving you with nowhere to hide, which is terrifying. So, facing Juno, Adam didn't dare to act at all but just answered questions honestly, for fear of causing unnecessary misunderstandings and conflicts, it would really hurt. Ha ha. Juno smiled, raised his neck slightly, and his delicate face was still a bit shy and shy. His acting skills were much higher than that of Adam, and his hair straightened when he looked at Adam. Then he sneered, Okay. No, I'm not teasing you, let me tell you, it's not what you think. What is that? Adam's mouth twitched. Just to see you pleasing to the eye. Juno walked over to Adam and sat down, flipping through Adam's book, and said casually, There are really too few classmates like you who are willing to help Grandma cross the road and beat Grandfather, and not once or twice. Although you are a radish with a heart of love, but you are very rare and caring, a big radish with a heart. Is this a compliment? Adam can't laugh or cry, but he is relieved. It seems that he has worked hard for more than half a year to do good deeds. Although it is a drop in the life of a long time, it is not without benefits. Of course. Juno's mouth curled up, if it wasn't for this reason, don't you think I really fell in love with you? How come? Adam shook his head with a dry smile. I don't have many friends, and I see even fewer friends. Juno picked up the book and shook it, my grades are not bad, but you just need help, how about it, would you like to make a friend? This one. Juno seems to be sincere, and the reason he said is reasonable, but Adam subconsciously wants to refuse. Without it, the instinct to seek advantages and avoid disadvantages is there, but he can't think of a suitable excuse for a while, and God knows to refuse again and again. Will the other party's reasonable request provoke her? To make her think that she has a ghost in her heart or look down on her is not something Adam wants to face. Forget it, never do anything wrong in her life, she is not afraid of ghosts knocking on the door in the middle of the night, and she is just an ordinary friend with a moderate distance, not like Amy. Girlfriends at a negative distance. Will you trouble you too much? Learning from each other, what's the trouble? Seeing Adam's acquiescence, Juno's smile became more sincere. She had changed five psychiatrists at a young age. To outsiders, she was a strange and freak. Few friends would say that is a euphemism. In fact, she there has always been a female friend who is not too close to each other. Have you reviewed this? Okay. Do you have any questions? How do you know? Look at these pages to turn a lot. Your power of observation. Then can you guess where I have questions? This is not clear. Why? Everyone has different ways of understanding and cognitive impairment. Some problems can be difficult for ordinary people, and some problems can be difficult for geniuses. I don't know what kind of you are. With the help of the genius students, Adam's learning progress has been speeded up. After all, the knowledge of decades in the previous life is there. It is only in 1989. Many problems are not because he doesn't understand, but because he can't change his way of thinking. You are very smart. An hour later, Juno was a little surprised by the progress of Adam Duncan, the always inferior student, it seems that you are willing to work hard, and you can really get admitted to college. Just admitted to college. Adam, who is immersed in the joy of deep learning, 
Yu Yu read www.yuyugonshu.com a little inflated and said with dissatisfaction. My fault. Juno smiled, well, it should be a good university. Ivy League schools have no hope. Adam frowned. He has not forgotten his goal. In order to become a top surgeon, he must pursue the most solid every step in the future, and being admitted to an Ivy League school is a solid first step. The Ivy League school is an alliance of eight universities in the United States, including Columbia University, Harvard University, Princeton University, Yale University, University of Pennsylvania, Brown University, Cornell University, and Dartmouth College. It is one of the top universities in the United States. Synonym Ivy League schools are not so good. Juno reminded, our school is a public high school. Most of the geniuses have gone to private high schools. They are smarter than you and harder than you. The platform resources are better than you. You can check our school every year. The list of admissions from league schools knows how difficult it is. Can you? Adam asked suddenly. Ha ha. Juno smiled but said nothing, everything was said. Although most of the geniuses have entered private high schools, they are not all of them. There are always one or two who stay in public high schools for various reasons. The few Ivy League school admission lists are held by them every year. And Juno is obviously such a genius. You can do it, I can do it. Adam encouraged himself. Come on. Look, see, what do I see? Just when the gap between the two of them looked at each other and smiled and disappeared, suddenly there was a grandiose smack. Duncan's house. Adam Duncan. The incoming person is an African, 15 or 6 years old, not as strong as an ordinary African, slightly thin, arms folded, squinting and mocking, it turns out that this is you giving up PJ and the dynamic band, the so-called study hard. I have changed my name now. Adam said helplessly, Emmett, there is no PJ and dynamic band anymore, and I'm really studying hard. Do you only see Juno in your eyes? Please, these books are here. A little more pure thinking, okay? Hi, Emmett. Juno smiled and greeted them. They were all classmates and knew each other naturally. It was just a weird and a non-mainstream in the past, and there was no contact. Hi, Juno. Emmett nodded flatteredly, not at all the weirdness of Adam just now. Juno was greatly reduced to Adam's heart because of the freckles on his face, but it was very in line with the Western aesthetics. With a 100% little beauty, how could Emmett resist her charm? The reason for the ridicule just now is that Adam's disbandment and his band are only a small part, and more importantly, watching Adam's beautiful girlfriend on the left and a beautiful girlfriend on the right. Nyo took the initiative to send home to study together again, it is strange that he doesn't have lemon spirits. Are you really studying? Emmett scanned the two faces suspiciously. Of course. The corner of Juno's mouth curled up, otherwise, what else can I do? Uh. Emmett was stagnant, and he still had to maintain the demeanor he should have in front of the beauties. Naturally, he couldn't catch it endlessly. What's more, he also sincerely hoped that what Juno said was true. He chuckled and said, Can I join? Do you want to join? Adam looked at Emmett amused. What's happening? Emmett was a little bit ashamed of Adam's small eyes. He really doesn't like to learn, but that's why he doesn't have good schoolmates. If he has Adam's conditions, any girlfriend can encourage him. Believe it or not, he can pass the exam in minutes. Ivy League school? Nothing. Welcome to join. Adam did not refuse, on the contrary he was quite happy. First, Emmett is the iron buddy of the predecessor. In this country where everything is correct, as the protagonist, the necessary configuration around him is an African-American supporting role like Emmett, just like the protagonist of a certain point in the previous life. The same fat man. If I remember correctly, neither his predecessor nor Emmett will go to college in the future. With their predecessor's good cooking skills, 
they have built a fast food truck together. They are really good brothers for a lifetime. After Adam crossed over, although the two people's PJ and Dynamic Band was disbanded, due to the emotional influence of the predecessor, Emmett had a good impression of this character. He usually played together, just because the other party didn't like it too much. Learning, gradually getting in touch is not as frequent as before. Emmett is really willing to make progress, and Adam is also happy to see it happen. Secondly, it is naturally to dilute the weirdness of being alone with Juno, so as to avoid any real incense incident. He is dubious about Juno's reasons. If Juno greets him to be hard, he might not dare to resist. Shall we start then? Adam moved aside, patted the sofa between him and Juno, and motioned Emmett to sit over. Okay. Emmett's eyes lit up and his big white teeth glowing with white light appeared. The dance posture he had learned from hip-hop came to him in a flash. Instead of sitting down, he pretended to bow to Juno in a gentleman's salute, is it okay? Of course. Juno smiled. Emmett sat down happily, looked at Adam on the left, and Juno on the right, expressing excitedly that he would study hard, and then there was no more. Three minutes later, Emmett was dizzy and swollen like listening to the Bible. He couldn't put it on any more, leaning back on the sofa, looking at Adam and Juno seriously discussing issues there. His ambition to study hard to be admitted to the Ivy League school in minutes, broke down instantly, and his heart was entangled with self-comfort, actually, there is nothing, learning is not the only way out. We still have specialties such as music, dance, and sports. But then he fell frustrated because although he can play drums and street dance, he has not reached the level of excellence that can be specially recruited by the university. Glug. At this time, Teddy's happy laugh came from upstairs, and it made Emmett, who was out of place, upset, and subconsciously shouted, I really can't believe that Teddy cheated on my back. Teddy didn't cheat on you behind his back. Adam raised his head and said, Because you have nothing to do with you, and she can hardly notice you. Do not. Emmett doesn't care about Juno. He likes Teddy more than Juno. He retorted, we just progressed more slowly. Even my mother knows the relationship between the two of us. Adam. Juno. This reason is really amazing. Who is that kid? Seeing the two dumbfounded and speechless, Emmett smiled triumphantly, and then looked at the ceiling angrily. Spencer, a guy obsessed with Teddy. Adam thought for a while and smiled, if it's like what you said, why don't you go up and stop it? Correct. Juno echoed, and looked at Emmett with a playful look, do you have any special hobbies? Of course not. Of course I want to stop it. I will stop now. Emmett couldn't stand such a joke, and he bounced up and walked upstairs. Ah there is a good show to watch. Juno smiled at Adam and said, don't go and see. Do not make jokes. Adam lay down, moved his hands and feet, closed his eyes and said, Emmett must have the courage, he would have gone to heaven long ago, ten, nine, eight. Before the end of Adam's countdown, Emmett's figure has appeared. How? Juno gossip. Emmett smiled awkwardly and said, he knew it was wrong. Before the words were finished, Teddy and Spencer laughed upstairs, and Emmett froze there. Spencer is too tall and doesn't know what he ate to grow up. Adam took the initiative to break the awkward silence. Correct. Emmett said angrily, he is a head taller than me. He went up to question, and wanted to take Spencer out for a heads up, but when Spencer stood up and looked down at him, he suddenly changed his mind removed the heads up, and took Spencer out to let Spencer throw him in the car. Of course, this kind of thing doesn't have to be said. Teddy is not for you. Adam couldn't help but persuade, I think it's good for you and Ivy to get back together. Like Adam with Emmett, Teddy's good girlfriend Ivy is also of African descent. Emmett had a period with Ivy, hey, think about it this way, Emmett is not a good bird either. Adam's eyes sharpened when he looked at Emmett. Well, I haven't noticed before. 
This kid wants to eat all his girlfriends, he wants to eat farts. Duncan's house. Ivy. Emmett exploded at the first hearing, and tilted his head to spit out in an African-American rap tone, Are you kidding? I don't want to see only a mouthful of teeth at night. Juno was startled and looked at Adam, Is he serious? Pretty serious. Adam explained, It doesn't matter, Emmett is also of African descent, so there is no discrimination problem. Double standard Juno shook his head and sighed. Have no idea. Adam also sighed. Hey hey hey. Emmett became dissatisfied, snapped his fingers in front of Adam and Juno, and interrupted, We are discussing my love with Teddy, don't change the subject. Enough. Thinking that this guy is so insidious that he wants his girlfriend to eat everything, Adam changed his previous casual attitude and frowned, Emmett, Ivy is Teddy's best friend, and Teddy is my sister. So. Emmett was taken aback. So you don't make jokes about Teddy anymore. Adam said sternly. I'm not kidding, I really love Teddy. Emmy said urgently. Love. Adam sneered and said, if you dare to go up and fight Spencer now, I will admit that you are serious, otherwise you don't want to talk about it. Although we are friends, Teddy is my sister. Are you serious? Emmett looked injured. It can be seen that Adam didn't eat this set at all, and he was a little embarrassed and said, OK, OK, I'll go, said so in his mouth, but his footsteps were motionless. If he could have the body to beat Spencer violently, he would have gone to the football team or the NBA a long time ago. What would he want by then? The key is not that he doesn't have it. Forget it, although Teddy is my true love, you are also my brother. Emmett finally chose from heart, since you don't like it, I will bury my true love in my heart from now on. Cut. Adam and Juno Kikai despised. Emmett stayed for a while, Juno was there coupled with the embarrassing scene just now, made him a little uncomfortable, and he flashed after a while. Adam and Juno studied together for a while, until the laughter of Bob and Amy entering the door came upstairs, and then they packed their things and were ready to end. Do you miss mommy? Seeing that Charlie, who had been playing on the sofa cleverly all the time, suddenly became confused, Adam picked up Charlie and teased. Mom, mommy. Charlie is very smart, she really claps her hands in response, the smile on her face can melt anyone's heart. So cute. Juno couldn't help but praised, much more cute and cute than my sister Lee Bay. Do you want to give a hug? Adam looked at Juno. Okay. Juno took Charlie carefully, took a closer look, and smiled, actually, sometimes I think, what if I am pregnant now, isn't it cool? Ahem. A scene from the movie Juno suddenly appeared in Adam's mind, and he smiled and said, That's not cool at all. Believe me. You still don't have the conditions to raise a child, the world is so big, don't you want to see it? Just stuck here? The town is so boring. It does not matter. Juno thought for a while, I can give it to families in need for adoption. Adam was speechless. She really did that in the movie. But she is telling me what this is doing now, I don't want to have children for inexplicable curiosity, and I don't want to be born and give it to others to continue my life. It hurts to have a baby, and it will become fat. Adam racked his brains to try to dispel Juno's thoughts. What are you guys saying? At the top of the stairs, my mother Amy said in shock. Seeing her standing posture, it was obvious that she came for a while, and she was peeping there just now. It's nothing. Adam's mouth twitched, and he walked over and handed Charlie to his mother Amy, while changing the subject to introduce to both sides, Mom, this is my classmate Juno, Juno, this is my mother Amy. Good evening, Mrs. Duncan. Juno greeted with a smile. Good evening, Juno. Mom Amy hugged Charlie still in a state of shock, looked at Juno carefully for a while, and suddenly smiled, you can call me Amy. Adam patted his forehead helplessly. It's late, I'm going back. 
Juno also saw the embarrassment of the scene, and pulled the backpack on his back to remind him. Yes, yes, your parents should be worried if you don't go back. Amy took back the gaze that had been looking at Juno, glared at Adam, and said, Adam, you sent Juno home, remember to take it home, um, then come back quickly, I have something to tell you with your dad. Oh. Adam can only respond. Goodbye, Amy. Juno waved his hand, goodbye, Charlie. Charlie, say goodbye to pretty sister. Amy picked up Charlie's little hand and waved it. Outside the house. Adam pushes his bicycle and runs side by side with Juno. Amy seems to have misunderstood something. Juno suddenly laughed. Yes, I went back and explained something. Adam had a headache. Should not trouble you. Juno squinted. How to say? Adam is puzzled. Because you should be very experienced. Juno hit the nail on the head. I. Adam subconsciously wanted to refute, you you read www.yuyugonshu.com but thought of something, the voice changed, he he smiled and said, that's what I said. You are really afraid of me. Juno sighed somewhat disappointed. You are so worried. Adam smiled dryly. The two went together for a while. Juno kept his head down and did not speak. Adam was nervous but he felt that this kind of awkward silence might be better for him, and he didn't say a word at all. I'm here. When he came to a house, Juno stopped and said lightly. Okay. Adam was uncomfortable, and sneered, you rest early. Okay. Juno responded, then raised his head and smiled brightly, then, see you tomorrow hey, eh? Adam nodded, but then realized that something was wrong. Wasn't he in a lightly broken state just now, why did you suddenly see you tomorrow? Haha. <laughs> Juno had already entered the house with a laugh while pushing the car. Damn. Adam didn't understand that he had been tricked by Juno at this time. If the other party really stopped contacting him because he was afraid of her, why chased him to his house again? She already knew when she was at school during the day. Maybe she is just Juno not the bloodthirsty little red riding hood. There was a ripple in Adam's heart, he couldn't help but smiled, and then thought of Amy's interrogation after returning, and couldn't laugh again. Late at night. I tried my best to deal with Adam, who was censored by his mother, and lay on the bed exhausted. The endurance of up to 300 was the first time I felt exhausted so early, and I fell asleep soundly after a while. At midnight. Adam woke up with a ding sound. Ding. Wisdom plus 0.005. Duncan's house. This is. Adam, who was awakened by the system prompt in the early morning, just wanted to scold the street. When he saw the wisdom attribute increased by 0.005, it turned into 109.005 and then turned anger into joy. The increase in wisdom is always refreshing. Is it because of Juno? Adam stared at the system panel happily, and then thought, apart from her, I have no contact with other geniuses, but yesterday she took the initiative to find me and has added one point of wisdom. Now what is this 0.005? It will not be just contact every day. Has it all increased? Hey! Thinking of this, Adam widened his eyes and muttered to himself excitedly, perhaps it is true. Although other attribute points do not have this growth pattern, according to the inferred theory that those who are close to Zhu are red and close to Mo are black, they increase every day after contact. In fact, it is reasonable. 0.005 is really small compared to 1, but it can be far more powerful than 1 under the accumulation of time. This is fully in line with the theory that those who are close to Zhu are red and black are black. It's like meeting a person with a big brain for the first time, and the three views are all shocked by the other's opened brains, but the real subversion of the three views and even becoming the other's brains is still dependent on the accumulation of contact. Little changes. Thinking of this, Adam is no longer sleepy, tossing and turning, his mind is full of red figures. 
if his guess is correct, in order to increase wisdom and achieve goals and finally increase lifespan, even if Juno is really the bloodthirsty little red riding hood, he will recognize it. Anyway, he is not to blame, what is he afraid of? Right, and Sheldon. Adam turned over again, and when he was lying there looking at the ceiling, he suddenly thought of Sheldon. Juno just added one point of wisdom point for main maybe I can add 0.005 points every day, so how about Superman IQ absolutely crush Juno's Shelton? Even if Juno is the bloodthirsty little red riding hood who can completely crush the IQ mentality of the strange tree, Adam still feels that Sheldon is more sharp when it comes to real high IQ. She went to high school at the age of nine. If she was not too young to give up her mother or said her mother could not bear it, Shelton would not have to wait until she was eleven to go to university. She graduated with the highest honor at the age of fourteen, was selected as an exchange scholar and went abroad at the age of sixteen. I got my first doctoral degree, and then I studied for the second doctorate a few years later. I also got a Master of Arts degree by the way. He was a theoretical physicist at the famous California Institute of Technology in his twenties. He had a weird temper, and the dean and principal who provoked him often got itchy with hatred, but he still stayed in the school. The school board members thought he had a beautiful heart. In the future, I can strive for more honors for the school, and I won the highest honor of the scientific community when I was under forty years old, the Nobel Prize in Physics. Such a super genius not to mention EQ, Juno is in no way comparable to IQ. Once he can grow wisdom for Adam, the effect is absolutely beyond imagination. Wait, I will act in advance this summer vacation. If you catch Shelton earlier, you may be able to change your destiny sooner. Hey, that's not right. Adam became more and more excited, but suddenly his inspiration flashed, since contact with geniuses can improve IQ why should it be limited to Shelton? Are these few geniuses nearby? The conclusion is of course not. Early the next morning, Adam rushed out of the house and rode to the house of an old classmate Duke. The two are middle school classmates, but because of the cuteness of the original want to wait for my nine-month-old sister to go to high school together, they stayed one level in high school. Now Duke is one level higher than him. After summer vacation, he is ten years old in high school. Student. Moreover, Duke's father has made money in recent years. Duke's grades have always been good. Duke's parents sent him to a private high school with high fees to receive elite education. The communication between them was basically broken. PJ, why are you here? When Duke saw Adam, he was a little startled, as if he had passed away. My name is Adam now. Adam also knew about this sudden embarrassment, but he couldn't wait to verify the idea he had in the early morning, and said straightforwardly, Duke, can you help me? Uh. Duke calmed down. He was a playmate when he was a child, and he didn't want to pretend to be a face-slapped face. He leaned back and said, shall we talk about it first? Duke, who is it? A woman protruded from the kitchen. Mom. It's PJ. Duke responded, my classmate in county high school. Oh, PJ, I remember you, your father is Bob from the pest control company, right? Duke's mother looked at Adam weirdly. Yes, woman Marcus. Adam didn't bother to correct their names, and replied a little embarrassingly. He was used to such gazes and fully understood the meaning of these gazes. He is so unremarkable but his father Bob is a bald dewormer. Many people doubt whether his surname is Duncan. Mom, PJ has something to ask me. Duke greeted, PJ, go to my room. Would you like some breakfast first? I fried Moscow sausage. Duke's mother warmly entertained him. For an unremarkable boy like Adam, women, especially housewives, are very fond of them. No thanks. Adam politely declined and followed Duke into the room. Sit anywhere. Duke greeted him, and went straight to the topic, you just said you have something to ask me for help. Correct. 
Adam looked around and saw that Duke's room was not messy, only the desks were full of books, there were no concealed magazines, and there were no tired rolls in the trash can. He praised Duke's self-discipline. Sat down at will, you should have a lot of geniuses in private middle schools, right? Okay. Duke was a little surprised, but he nodded and said, of course, private high schools were originally prepared for the elite. Except for the most important family background, only real geniuses are accepted. Adam knows that the U.S. class is seriously solidified, and it pursues both elite education and happy education. Happy education is the general public who was abandoned at the beginning, while elite education is aimed at two kinds of people. The main body is the children of the middle class and above, and the other is the real genius among the common people as fresh blood to replenish the vitality of the elite. Geniuses are a minority after all. Private secondary schools give these talents full scholarships to relieve them of worries, let them become the facade of the school, and leave a trace of fantasy to the public to prevent the public from equating private middle schools with aristocratic schools. Do you know such a genius? Adam is a little eager. Of course I know, we have one in our class, that IQ, Alas, the gap is too big. Duke sighed, then looked at Adam weirdly, what's the matter? Adam took a deep breath and said sincerely, can you introduce us to me? Evening. The sun sets. Ugh. Adam sighed long as he rode his bike on the way home. It's not that Duke refused to help. In fact, although Duke was puzzled, he still helped Adam make appointments with talented classmates in the class. After the three met, Adam tried to be friends with each other, using his refined acting skills and super common knowledge in the next few decades. I was fooled by Adam when I got up, and my attitude towards Adam gradually became enthusiastic from the indifference from the beginning. What is helpless is that the whole day of acting, the system did not pop up any prompts from beginning to end, Adam could only come back in shock. Where is the problem? Adam thought distraughtly, Duke. A classmate who speaks and behaves, knows that IQ is quite high, and he also expressed closeness to me and made it clear that both parties will be friends in the future, but why is it useless? Is it gender discrimination? The other party is not a woman. Thinking of this, Adam glanced at the system panel and laughed at himself, System, system, shouldn't you be that kind of system? You don't want to come, after all. Even the system must comply with the first law, there are thousands of roads, safety first. Article, the driving is not standard, the relatives are two tiers. There are too few samples and lack of comparison. Adam couldn't figure out the mystery for a while. It seems to continue. Adam's eyes gradually became firm. If a genius is not enough, he will find another one. If a male genius is not enough, he will look for a woman. He still doesn't believe in the rules that cannot be understood. Into the night. Ding dong. You came. Adam ran to open the door, and saw that it was Juno as expected, and greeted with some surprise. Not welcome. Juno looked at Adam in surprise, and the arc of his mouth unconsciously expanded. With her eyesight, it was natural to see that Adam was more pleasantly surprised than frightened for her arrival. In just one day, his attitude was very different. It's interesting. Welcome. Adam also wondered whether Juno could add 0.005 wisdom points to himself every day, and how could he take the worry that the other party might be the bloodthirsty little red riding hood in his heart. After all, people die for money, and birds die for food. Hi. Juno Teddy hugged Charlie, dragged his voice, and greeted him playfully. My mother Amy's maternity leave ended and she returned to work. Because she was a nurse, she often worked overtime. My dad, Bob, was an exterminator. Most houses in the United States were made of wood, so there was a serious problem of snakes, insects, rats, and ants. Need to call Bob urgently, so he is not at home. Charlie is still young, and Teddy is with him most of the time. Although Adam is the eldest brother, he is only playing and assisting and changing hands. 
As for the third Gabby, no one dares to count on him. The Duncan family like this is very much like a subcurrent family. Parents need to work, and there are many children in the family. They are basically older brothers and sisters of the same age. There are almost no siblings who do not fight, although they are noisy but very warm, brothers and sisters have very good feelings when they grow up. It is precisely because of this similarity and warmth that Adam is well integrated and truly regards the Duncan family as his family. As a family member, of course my younger sister Teddy has to gossip about the relationship problem of elder brother Adam. Hi, Teddy. Juno nodded calmly. As a weird person in most people's eyes, her psychological quality is leveraged. Teddy's gossip look and tone can't make her ripple. Teddy, Charlie, you are in charge, is that okay? Adam asked. No problem at all. Teddy promised with a smile on his face, and then some self-deprecating muttered, Anyway, Spencer won't come today. It seems like my first kiss at home is impossible to send out. Yesterday, she asked Spencer to study together. Although her parents were persuaded by her to go out on a date, Charlie was also taken by Adam, but there is also a goddess Gabby in the family who pops up when she and Spencer are near. Interrupt the atmosphere. She was willing to do it once, but Spencer didn't have the patience. After a few interruptions, Spencer said goodbye directly, making her hate Gabby but helpless and could only blame herself. Call me if you have something. Adam didn't bother to care about Teddy's self-pity, so he took Juno to the basement after confessing. Although Spencer had some problems, Teddy and Spencer really came together in the original time and space. He was barely considered a childhood sweetheart and happy. He didn't want to intervene in the feelings of the two because of the so-called big brother love. Things are warm and cold, and he doesn't have the confidence to talk about Spencer. After an hour. Oh, God, is that again? Emmett walked in, saw Adam and Juno studying seriously there, and patted his forehead, Adam, you can't be a nerd, you have to rock and roll. Boom. Saying this, Emmett picked up the drumstick and banged the triangle. Emmett, you discriminate against the nerd now, but in the future it will be the nerd's turn to discriminate against you. Adam moved his neck and fought back casually. Rock can't save his life. How can it be? Emmett looked unbelievable. Do not believe. Adam curled his lips and said, You can go to the city and have a good mix of things, whether it is a lot of rock and roll or a lot of nerds. After indulging youth, what is left is a lot of chicken feathers. UU reading www.uuganshu.com Emmett was taken aback for a moment, and then he muttered with a bad face, Damn it, it's true if you think so. Actually, there is no need to divide so much. Juno said, You have to read books and rock and roll. The two are not opposed. On the contrary, they have a promoting effect. The simplest question is, Adam, what extracurricular activities do you have besides rock? Rugby? Basketball? Uh. Adam shook his head repeatedly. What he values most now is his studies. In the rest of the time, he has to do good deeds. Where can there be time to take care of other things? Besides, his power speed is only mid to high, not even good enough, and he is not dominant in sports, so he does not rely on it. The idea of sports to give you extra points. That's it. Juno reminded. Universities, especially top universities, have excellent grades at the time of admission are just a stepping stone. If you want to stand out among so many outstanding applicants, extracurricular club activities and talents that can prove leadership definitely occupy a large proportion. You if you don't play rugby, basketball or other sports, or participate in star clubs like Model United Nations, how can you prove yourself then? Leadership Adam frowned and said, this is not necessary. Shelton, Leonard and their leadership in extracurricular clubs, sports are even more fighters in the rubbish, and they are not the best universities that can still go to. Of course it is not necessary. Juno nodded, 
but the premise is that the results must be good enough to be dazzling, such as winning medals in various large-scale science competitions, can you? Adam remained silent for a long time, and said sternly, let's talk about playing rock and roll to prove leadership, 